today's video is going to be a Coastal Scents haul. Um, I just recently picked this stuff up. They were having this 40% off their entire website sale. And I haven't shopped at Coastal Scents. I probably the last time I ordered something was four years ago, five years ago, so it's been a really long time. Um, and with a nice sale like that, I wanted to just try some products out. Um, I knew there were some products that I've been wanting to try out, but um, was waiting for a sale, and this sale was nice. So, I picked up some things. Also, I wanted to mention, um, if you want a review on any of the products mentioned, please let me know down below in the comment section, just because um, there are a lot of products here, and I kind of want this video not to be the longest video ever. So, so I will do a review if you would like. Okay, so I am going to start off with this. And this was a very exciting purchase for me. Um, this is the Elite Bamboo um, Collection Brush Set. And on the back, I wanted to show you, um, it has all the different kinds of brushes and like what they're used for. So if you're just starting off with makeup or um, you, know, you just don't happen to know what the different brushes are for, there's a nice little guide back there. So I was actually really surprised when I opened this up. So it's like case like this and it's like a fake leather and it says Coastal Scents down here. And then this right here is a magnet. So that's really nice. And then you open it up. There is a zipper compartment right here. You could hold like makeup or something in. And then you open this up. And then there are all these brushes. I think, I don't know how many there are. I think there's 24, 25. So there are all these brushes. Now this is a product I am going to be reviewing um, in a different video. So keep a lookout for that if you want to see uh, more in depth on these brushes. And I'm just going to put that to the side there. Okay, and then a, another product that I plan on reviewing is the Revealed Palette. And this is 20 eyeshadow colors. And I will just show you. It has a little protective thing. And here are the different eyeshadow colors. Now, um, when looking at this, this just reminds me a lot of all three Naked palettes. Um, I see some of the Naked 1, or the Naked, um, Naked 2, and Naked 3 in there, like this um, rosy color right here, or that color. So there's a lot of the different ones. So in the Revealed review, I will probably be comparing the Naked um, palettes to this palette, and I'll have swatches and all of that. So if you want to see more on this palette, then keep a lookout for that as well. The next product I picked up was the Eclipse palette. And this is a palette that has 15 concealer shades. Now I was just really interested in this. Um, I don't know, it just looked intriguing to me. Um, so it looks like this. It's a nice small palette. I actually like the size of this. I have another palette with tons of concealers and that thing is huge. Like it's not travel friendly. So this is definitely travel friendly. And then let me open it up. So here are the correcting shades and then there are all these other shades. Um, these shades could be used for contouring. Um, like some of these are kind of a salmon color so it's good for under the eyes. Um, so so these are all the shades. I haven't really played around with this, um, but they seem to be really nice and creamy. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a try out. I just kind of was testing it and stuff. So like I said, if you want to see reviews on these things, let me know. The next thing I picked up was this contour or six contour blush palette and it has highlights, contour, and blush colors in it. It comes bubble wrap. I think the other thing came bubble wrap too. I just took it out of the bubble wrap. Um, so here is the palette and let me open it up. It comes with a safety thing. And here are the different colors. Now here is a nice highlighting color. Um, these are good for highlighting or maybe even a light blush. Um, but mainly highlighting. And then this is a contour color. And I will show you that on a swatch right here. Like here is it fully swatched. Um, definitely you would blend that out. But I just kind of wanted to show you the color. It's not too um, orangey, which I like. Definitely for a contour, you don't want it to be orangey, and it's really smooth. I'm excited to try that out for my contour. And then there's these two blushes, um, which are pretty nice as well. Here's that one. 
and that one and then I will just swatch it so there is the darker one and it's more of a coral color and then the lighter pink one um, that one didn't swatch all that well the main reason I got this is for the highlight and the contour the next thing I picked up came in this little set here and actually in this set came a free little eyeshadow um, quad there's four little eyeshadows in there and then a sticker that says I love makeup on it which I mean I love makeup and then I got some samples of their mineral foundation I just got some different colors because I wasn't sure what one would fit my skin tone the best so I'm interested in trying these out now when I opened them to swatch them they did seem to have a little bit of sparkle to them so I'm kind of interested in that because I'm not gonna be looking like Edward Cullen or anything like that just saying I don't want to be sparkling like no vampire um, if vampires sparkle I don't even know so yeah I'm just curious to see how those are gonna work out and then I got the brow palette and let me get into this this has four different brow shades obviously I wouldn't be using all four but I am a makeup artist so if I end up liking this thing um, it's kind of good to have in your makeup kit because it does have the four different brow colors and I don't want to blind you there but there's a very nice big mirror and then these four colors um, I really like this this one just because it's more of a taupey color and same with this one um, this one obviously would be for more of a blonde and then this has a little bit of a red tint to it um, so I'm not sure I would really use that but I am wearing this one today and I really like the color of it and then it comes with a little brush that just broke on me so I definitely would not be using the brush so yeah I'm interested in seeing how this brow set will work out and this would be something nice to have carry along in your makeup kit if you are a makeup artist. Now the next thing I got was the Define Line um, Gel Eyeliner and let me open this up. I got this in the color Raven. Um, this is just the black color and it comes looking like this and then you pull this up and there's a little brush in there. I don't exactly know if I'd be using that brush. I'd like a thinner brush. This one's a little bit thicker. Um, and then you twist this and there is your product. And I did test this out here. I will show you a little test of it. And it didn't seem all that black. So I'm interested to see what it looks like. Actually, never mind. It's pretty black. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe when I used it the other day, I didn't push hard enough. So here it is. It is pretty black. The only gel liner I have used is the MAC Fluid line, and I liked that. And then I picked up two of their lip glosses. Since they were on sale, they were like $2. So I was interested to see um, how the formula is, you know. Uh, I'm always trying out different lip glosses and stuff, trying to get the best ones. And so the first one I picked up was the name. It's called Pink Pep, and this is definitely a pink color. When I look at this, I kind of think Barbie pink. Um, and when I swatch it, I will show you a swatch right here. It is definitely pink. It's pretty. So here is the swatch right there. And as you could tell, it is really pretty and it is pretty opaque. I haven't tried this particular color, um, but the other one is pretty opaque and this just seems opaque on the swatch. And then the other one I picked up is called Oasis. And this is actually what I'm wearing right now. And it looks like this. It's not exactly nude, it's just like an everyday color. And I really like the formula of these. Here, I'll show you a swatch while I talk. Um, they are not sticky at all. Um, I mean, they're so smooth. I was super surprised because since they were so cheap, I'm like, okay, these are probably going to be sticky. Um, but I, I just want to try them. Not sticky. Like, really, really smooth. Here is... Here is that one right there. And as you can tell, look at how opaque that is. That is really good color payoff. I really don't know how long they last. I haven't really timed them, but for $2, not bad at all. I think they're actually $4 when they weren't on sale, but they're still really cheap. And um, I definitely want to get some other colors because those two colors are really pretty. 
Okay, my last products. Now this was the thing that I really wanted to pick up. I was super excited to try these out. And I'm talking about the Forever Blushes. I don't know if you've heard about them or not. And I've heard that they are just crazy pigmented. And so I wanted to try them out for myself. So I only got three colors. And now I want more Try after trying them. Um, I haven't really worn them. I'm wearing this one actually. And this one is romantic right now. And I really think it's super pretty. Um, so they come in a thing that looks like this. And if you're familiar with the Laura Geller packaging, that looks basically the exact same. And then you open it up, it has a mirror right here. And then here is Romantic. And I looked at this and I thought this was such a pretty color. Um, I love these dark mauve blushes. I mean, they're one of my favorites. So I will swatch now. I just did such a little swatch and I don't know if you could see that. These things are crazy pigmented. And this one is like the one that has the least amount of pigment. So here is Romantic. And like I said, it's so pretty. And when you blend it out, so gorgeous. And then I got the color Passionate. And this one's kind of similar to Romantic. Um, it's kind of like a mauve color again. Um, but it has a little bit more of a raspberry color to it. And there it is. Actually, after looking at it, together they're not really all that similar let me just see i can't get it open okay so there's romantic and there is passionate yeah they are definitely not similar i don't know what i'm talking about this is more of a berry tone and this has more of a mauve color to it so this is passionate and i will do a swatch oh my gosh see i just did such a little swatch there and there's so much product. So that is passionate and romantic. And then this next one, I don't even know why I got it. I mean, I'm excited to try it. Um, but when I looked at it, I'm like, I do not have any blushes like this in my collection. And that I think is why I was drawn to it. And you're about to see why I think I may be a little bit crazy for getting it. So this is called Radiant. And that is basically red. Like it is an orangey red color. And when I looked at it, I'm like, mm, a little bit crazy for getting that. But I am interested in trying it out because like I said, I don't have anything like it in my collection. There it is swatched on my finger and here it is swatched on my hand. Radiant, passionate, and romantic. So these colors are just so vibrant. We will see, we will see how it looks. I. I'm sure I can make it look pretty good, hopefully. Maybe it's more of a summer color, I don't know. We will see. So that is everything I picked up from Coastal Scents. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow me anywhere else, I am on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find me there at a pretty L life. And please don't forget to subscribe so you can see any further videos of mine. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.